centuries ago, dragons disappeared from this world. Legend speaks of the nefarious deeds of the Lich Magister, who captured all living dragons to further his studies of immortality. As time passed, dragons faded from memory, seen as nothing more than fantastic creatures which never truly existed. Until recently, that is. Heroes from this world and other versions of it have been gathered by the mysterious figure, Grandma. Through her magical academy, the heroes have learned that time travel is not only possible, but could be the key to returning dragons to this world forever. However, freeing dragons is only one of the feats awaiting them as they face the Crucible of the Gods. Hello, my fellow gamers and geeks. Welcome to the Games and Geekery patron sessions where we play Dungeons and Dragons with our supporters on Patreon. If you're interested in joining us in a game, check out our Patreon page in the link down below. I will be your guide and dungeon master, Anthony M. Copeland. I hope you're ready for an exciting game with tonight's party, the Dragon's Horde. Now, let's get started. The Bandits of Brent session, you guys had just come out of a labyrinth and back into the, the, the bathhouse room. And there's a door in there that you didn't see before. Rykor went through it, didn't you? I did. Yep. <laughs> and Tristan did too, apparently. And so did Baggy. However, Aldred remained behind. In the meantime, doorways keep up opening for other people too, including um, a door opening for Balawa, who was trying to help the refugees get their stuff together and move back to the city of Gate. And then, ooh, door. Must be from God. Right, Bilal? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Bilal must have sent it. And uh, another door appeared in front of the fisheye from the World of Dragons. And she didn't go through, but her parasitic ooze did. Gooey. Yes, gooey. The traitor. Leaving that fish eye to the machinations of her siblings. Um, Alexa, you had been performing um, on the stage at the tavern in the city of Gate, hadn't you? In the squealing hog. And yeah, Alexa had been performing in the tavern. Yep. Now, so as you're heading back to the room that you rented, much to the slight disappointment and applause of the audience because, you know, they want you to keep playing, but you're tired. <laughs> There's a freestanding door just in the middle of the hallway. Can I smell the gingerbread? Yeah, there is a faint smell of gingerbread coming through the door. And yeah, she's going straight through that door. She liked that gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll, where, where would you be at that point? So he'd probably be upset still. Still pretty tired, so he'd be tossing and turning in bed. Okay, and as you're having trouble sleeping, suddenly you see a freestanding door in the corner of your room. Well, I don't like it because it's, it, I don't get it, but I'm going to go and I smell the, oh, I can't smell the gingerbread either, so. No, you can't. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to, I guess I'm just going to assume that it's some grandma trickery and uh, go through the door. Some of that magic stuff I don't understand. <laughs> yes. So in the meantime, fish eye of Brench. What do you want to be doing? Were you hosting a tea party for some of your well-to-do friends? I imagine it fish eyes with fish frog, and they're like catching fish, putting it in the little basket on, on his side. Uh huh. So you're currently outside the city walls, fishing in the fishing in the rivers around the the, the city. Yeah. And doorway just right on the grass verge, completely just looks like an ordinary door, but it's not attached to anything. Just standing. She tilts her head and enters with Fish Frog, bringing him along. <laughs> okay. Similarly, what is Oren doing right now? He is wandering around. Looking for the next coin to be tossed at you? Yeah. <laughs> give, give or take. 
he's looking to uh, stay inconspicuous. Okay. So, yeah, as you're wandering through the woods? Yeah. Actually, yeah. That's what I decided for you. You're actually already investigating the stories of children going missing in the dark woods when you smell gingerbread. Right. So you don't get a doorway like the others. You end up following the smell of gingerbread, taking care to avoid the sharp little seed pods in the woods and all the other da um, dangers of the forest, which you're pretty good at since you're a monster hunter. And you come across this cute little stone cottage in the middle of the woods. What do you do? We're going we're gonna to try to look through the window. Okay. You look through the window and you see a room full of strange adventurers who are st seem to be just as confused about their presence there as you are. Cutting to inside the room, um, one by one, each of you have come through that door and be greeted by Grandma, who offered you a piece of gingerbread, throwing you all off by greeting you by name and asking you to take a comfortable seat and... We've just got one more to wait for. I'm sure he'll be along presently. Have we ever had gingerbread before? Okay. For those of you who have no idea what gingerbread is, when it's done properly, in my opinion, and, and certainly in this case, it's a wonderful, dark, rich, sticky, ginger-tasting cake. Sometimes you make houses out of it. That's more like a biscuity, like dry... Yeah, that's... American grossness version of gingerbread. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the houses are really cute. You gotta admit. They're cute. And they sit on the counter and they go in the trash because they taste awful. But this is a light, moist, rich, dark cake. Hey, okay. All right. So um, as Fisheye sits down, a strange blue shadow with eyes kind of crawls up. It's just crawling up your body. Mm, Fish Eye starts trying to get it off. She's confused. She doesn't know what it is. Grandma says, it's okay, dearie. He's been waiting for you. What is it? Just let him in. It's okay. She looks at Fish Frog and asks him, do you, do you think this is safe, Fish Frog? Probably getting a croak in response. And then she just nods, trusting Fish, o Fish Frog's opinion. <laughs> okay, so this thing crawls up your neck. Reaches your face and pours itself down your throat. Some of it gets up your nose as well. That didn't taste like food. I do not want one of them. No, it's not for you. What are you? So now, as this thing absorbs into you, you start to see memories and ideas of another fisheye. A fisheye that also had a crater like you. Wasn't taken care of quite so well. This thing promises you that it can help you. Defeat the bad man. I trust you for now. We are Gruai. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the rest of you um, are looking around the room. You see some of you recognize each other. Well, obviously, Baggy, uh, Baggy's met Balawa before. Don't think Rykor has. Tristan's met Balawa before because Baggy and Tristan traveled together with five to the refugee camp. He's met Fisheye before as well. He's met the other Fisheye before, so yes. That's because Fisheye ate Tristan. It was his fault. <laughs> so in the room, there is a half-elf bard. You can tell she's a bard because she's holding a mandolin. And yes, we both all know that no one else but bards is allowed to hold mandolin. Stop being sarcastic, hardcore. <laughs> Well, this specific mandolin you guys can't hold. <laughs> In fact, for that, I'm going to make you do an arcana check, Raikor. Okay. <laughs> Raikor got punished. Let me check and see what my abysmal sco score is. Zero. Probably. Yeah. Strip D20. Fine. Yeah. It just looks like a regular mandolin to you. For every piece of, of gingerbread that Baggy takes, she takes the second one and puts it in her bag of holding. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> fish I just takes a fish from the basket and starts eating it. A fish from the basket? Oh, from your own basket. Yeah. Okay, so the one that's going to be shocking most to Alexa... Um, the new fisheye, Oren, who is still outside, Rock, 
and yeah, yeah, just those, is Balawa, because he's a dragonborn, and you guys have never seen a dragonborn before. You look like a giant lizard. Technically. Those of you who have a good history score may have heard stories of dragons told to you when you were kids or read about in books since, but... They're not real. Yeah, and the idea of, of dragonborn is just... I do a history check on that. Go for it. Okay. Okay, I, I've heard stories about them, maybe. Yeah. Yes, you've heard about dragons. You look like the thing I ate a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the resemblance. When did you learn to talk? What? Yeah. When did when did fish I learn to talk so well? How do you know me? We've been traveling for weeks together. Do you do notice that this fish eye only has one set of arms? And giant wings on her back. Oh yeah, the big butterfly wings. I don't know you. Fish frog, do you recognize them? Great, there's two of them. Oh my goodness. Guai does remember these people, so you now have like flashes of memory from the other fish eyes perspective of these people, including Balawa and of Calder. This goo thing is making me remember weird things about you. We, I did what? Fish eye? What? What's a flip flap lizard? I don't understand. She's trying to take in all the new information because she's never heard of dragons before. And now she can, and like, she doesn't even know the name of it. She just knows Flip Flap Lizard. <laughs> yep, that's true. She doesn't know, she doesn't know him as Calder. She knows him as Flip Flap Lizard. So you're the red non-Flip Flap Lizard. You are green. Ah, uh, don't call me green undead. I know I'm undead, but that's just what I remember. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm baggy. I'm not, my name's not green. I'm just green, but I'm not. So don't call me that. Yeah, you're you're a half orc, right? Yeah, and you're weird. Well, that's rude. <laughs> so while the rest of them are talking amongst themselves, Grandma has opened the door to the forest, poked her head out, and said to Oren, "Come inside, have a cup of tea." Uh, he's gonna come inside. All right. Finally, you're all here. So nice to meet you all again. Now, some of you. How can you meet us again? Oh, you'll, you'll understand, dear. In fact, um, Alexa, dear, and, and Rock, I know that you guys have already seen this, so if you wouldn't mind waiting right here while I give the other guys a tour, is that okay? All good with me. As long as you leave the gingerbread. <laughs> oh, yeah, there'll be plenty of gingerbread. <laughs> Baggy go, grabs a couple more pieces. <laughs> I imagine Rykor is somewhat adept at tenses and such, being as he has a time traveler in his head. Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Grandma walks over to the door, but this time, when she opens it, it doesn't open up to the woods outside the cabin. It opens up to a long corridor, a stone corridor with columns along one side of it and doorways on the other. I believe, Tristan, you're the only one with no magic at all at the moment, besides from... Well, Rock's staying behind at the moment. Uh, yes. If somebody could take, um, could make sure that uh, Tristan doesn't go missing, that would be great. And y'all follow me. And she walks through this door into the corridor. Tristan, stay with us. Get on, Fish Frog. Fish Frog, follow Fish Frog. He's fun to ride. He's really nice. <laughs> Tristan gets on the frog and says, I suppose every knight needs his trusty steed. <laughs> So you'll be leading Fish Frog and Tristan. Yeah, she has she has a little lead on him for when she's not riding him. <laughs> so why would he get lost though? Mm -hmm. It's just a weird portal door. Well, you see, this doorway isn't just one doorway. These doorways connect to every other doorway. As I open it, I can decide which door it opens, and every part of our academy is connected by these doorways. As you all move through the door, um, a woman in a, in a robe smiles and waves at you as she walks past the group, and she goes back into the cabin through the same doorway and closes it behind her. Grandma shows you 
as, as I said, there were columns on the on the right hand side. So past the columns is a um, a green courtyard, and there are other mages practicing various spells and illusions. And through the doorways on the right, as you're walking down the corridor, you can see laboratories and libraries and lots of mages studying stuff. The academy has been around for centuries, and also only a few weeks. Let me introduce you to, well, myself. <laughs> As you go through another doorway into another corridor, you see a, a big assembly hall full of children. They're all looking around excitedly, talking about what spells they might learn and everything as they... They get sorted into their houses. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of them happen to be a sea elf by any chance? A sea elf? There might be a couple of blue kids in there, yeah. Yeah, a certain sea elf that a certain person... Used to be? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you do see a little girl in there that you recognize. But Grandma is introducing you to another little girl, accompanied by um, a boy whose features are similar enough that you assume that it's her brother, and, and another boy who looks different. This is Greta and her brother Hans. They just came to us yesterday, but I already know they'll be our, some of our greatest students. I have a, a question. Since Baggy saw the projection of the other fish eyes memory of who she used to be, would she recognize anybody in there? Oh, it wasn't a projection. Yeah, fish eye just starts walking over to the child. You mean the sea elf child? Yeah. The one that the sea elf child that she recognizes. Okay. The, the sea elf child looks a little confused, like she's wondering why you're looking at her. You look familiar. Um have uh, I don't think we've met. I think we've had. Do you know someone by the name of Delta? Yeah. Why? I'm Delta. I was Delta. No. Yes. Yes. I I was sacrificed to who? What's it called? Why why were why why were we sacrificed? Why were you sacrificed? To the creature in the sea. It, to save the village. The, okay. That, then then I'm staying here. I'm not going back to the village if I'm just going to get. I'm not in the village. We live in a town called Brench. Will we still go to Brench if we don't get sacrificed? I, he, sat, I got messed up. I, I don't want to get messed up. He doesn't affect people who weren't sacrificed, I don't think. Why can't we just stay here, away from the... I call him bad man. Away from the bad man. Then we won't go back to the village... We'll just go to Brench and do our business. We're going to defeat the bad man one day. Okay. Um, okay. I, I, I got to go now, but, uh, but I'll see you around, okay? See you around. And the fish eye walks back after that, smiling a bit. Kristen has a bewildered look on his face. Fish eye, you suddenly realize that you're breathing. Fish eye freezes. Why am I breathing? Oh, that's because your history changed, dear. I'll show you more later. What? No worry, dear. Okay. I look at her to see if there's anything different that I can see. Are you? Do you have the ability? Oh, yeah, you can see. Yes. Yeah, you have true sight, don't you? So, yeah, she's not undead anymore. And she doesn't look like a Janassi. She looks like a sea elf. Oh, my goodness. What? Does she still have wings? Yes. But they're, they've not been acquired the same way. Okay. <laughs> she still has wings. You don't know why yet, but she still has wings. I lean over towards... Uh, Rykor and, and say she's not undead. Well, that's new. Uh, but I could try and explain it to Baggy, but it wouldn't make much sense, so I'll just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, in the meantime, back in the cottage, um, a young woman comes in and, and uh, introduces herself to Alexa and rock and roll, saying, Hi, my name's Lynn. Um, I think I saw you before the other day. Were you the one in the garden? No, no, I was the one leading the assembly. I was the one telling the kids that they can be anything they want. Oh, so you're young, Grandma. You figured it out already. Well done. Oh, she mentioned it. Yeah, I was wondering if you would twig that she meant me and not the girl. Of course, she kind of meant the girl as well. But anyway, if you would come with me, we've got some uh, catching up to do. And she opens the door again. So looking forward to working with you. It'll definitely be interesting. <laughs> We're working together? Just, well, it's not really work, is it? It's more sort of, it's always fun. You'll see. Well, I'm going to fun. Excellent. In the meantime, Grandma has already started leading the rest of the party through to other parts of the labyrinthine network of corridors. And 
in one of the the classrooms, you see the um, half elf that you saw in the cottage, the one that you thought you'd left behind, and she seems to be taking a class in. What do you think you would have been studying when they bump into you? What spell were you practicing, Alexa? Um, we can go for Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> nice. See this woman that you presumed to, to be a bard previously launching eldritch blasts at a practice dummy, mm-hmm. and um, in one of the courtyards you see the the half orc barbarian, or at least that's what you presumed him to be, sitting cross legged, meditating in the, on the in the middle of this grass field. <laughs> and then you come to uh, another door. My hand subconsciously goes to. The hilt of my dagger. Why? Because of the weirdness around me. Okay. You just generally freaked out. Yeah. She doesn't trust it. Because it's all wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Anyway, this door that you open up, you end up in a overgrown garden by the looks of it. And then you kind of alter your perspective and realize that these blades of grass are sort of huge. And the dandelion is the size of a tree. And there's a fairy, the same size as you guys, a creature that would normally be a tiny little sprite fluttering around the garden, and greets you all warmly, especially Fisheye. Are you mad because I ate the weird flip-flap thing? No, you didn't. You didn't eat anything, dear. You just spent time in the fae. No, I remember eating it, then getting kicked out. No, that was the other you. That was before. That was when you were dead, remember? I'm still dead. I died. I was sacrificed. Not anymore. Remember when you spoke to your younger self? Wait, that was my younger self? Yes, yes, and you spent the rest of the years studying with me, and I taught you fey magic. We walked in the Feywild together, and that's where you grew your wings, remember? Oh, I thought you were talking to your younger sister. No, you were talking to you. I didn't realize that. Oh my god. That's why you're alive now. Yeah, Fisheye looks very confused. Sitting at a, a, a little table, having tea, uh, rock and roll, and Alexa. You guys were just... What? This is a weird day. <laughs> rock and roll and Alexa, you guys have been studying at this academy for a couple of years. You've learned some new skills. And rock and roll, you went through the most dramatic changes, having spoken to a much younger of yourself, version of yourself, and from that moment on, took taking a very different path. Now you're a monk slash wizard instead of a barbarian. You know, it, it happens. <laughs> I, I calmed the rage inside and left the barbarian pathway behind. It's all that damn meditation. <laughs> She turns to Baggy. Baggy, has it been more than 10 minutes? Because I don't know. From our perspectives, it's been a short amount of time from there. It's been a long amount of time. Don't try to understand it. It'll hurt your brain. <laughs> <laughs> this sure is a strange dream I've been having. Can't wait to wake up. Raiko, you also, you also see somebody in this garden that you think you recognize. Who? You. Oh, I see me. Or at least this world's version of you. Oh, it's probably a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Does he look the same? More or less. Um, this one's a little bit... Well, he's in the same robes as all the other mages are. Okay, I do not want to meet another me, so... <laughs> Two Rikors I can handle. I, I see, uh, I say, uh, so um, you're me. S- sort of. I, I don't think... You're not from this reality, are you? No, I'm from another reality but you're the me from this reality. Yes, I am. And um, I think if older me was right, yeah. Um, The younger you is going to get a knife from older me. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't happen yet, though. Well, not for you. No, for you. But it's kind of for me as well, because... Well, it happened for me. Yeah, you're the other one who gets the knife. Yeah. But I think I'm the one that's in the knife, but not yet. Oh, well, then you have my thanks. You're welcome. Um, not sure what's going to go on there yet, but... I, I don't believe in spoilers, so... Probably best, yeah. Don't want to end up like, uh, like Fisheye over there. <laughs> now, there's a reason why you're all here. We've tried this a few times, you see, and, and um, sometimes it goes badly, but we keep learning from it. 
<laughs> and we keep coming back to this point, and we'll try again and again until we get it right. What is the goal here, though? Saving the world, dear. Oh, from what this time? Well, Fishai, I believe you already know what one of the one of the greatest threats is, don't you? Bad man or the Kraken? Yes. I prefer bad man. You need to stop the bad man. You need to stop the Kraken. We call him Deathbringer. He needs to be stopped. So Grandma is standing in front of the door leading out of this garden and through the doorway, instead of the corridors you saw before, you see the inside of a fishery. You said this is near Brent, right? My business is in Brent. Yeah. Do you know that place? Do you know it? I uh, kind of, sort of, yeah. Let me get out of here, please. I push past and get out. <laughs> I'll, I want to get out of here. And so I will follow because I don't want to fuck up my future. <laughs> Let me get out of the giant garden. I don't want something to indirectly happen that would change something. Before, before Fish Eye goes, goes through with Fish Frog, she looks over at Tristan. Do you want to keep riding Fish Frog and come with us or go with the others? <laughs> Very well, then I'll go with you. Yay, come on. I spent all my money on street foods so I could really use another job. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I have, I have plenty. <laughs> Fun. Did you guys have a good time? Well, I know I did, and I hope you did as well. Thank you for joining us for another episode of The Games and Geekeries Patreon Sessions, where we play D&D with our supporters on Patreon. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider joining our Patreon page, where you could claim your spot in a future session. You'll also be invited to join our highly engaging Discord channel, exclusive to our patrons. We hope to see you there. Join us next time for another adventure with the Games and Geekery Patreon players.